Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at a Smith & Wesson 629-1. Now this is a stainless steel 44 Magnum in frame revolver. It is a dash one, it's six shots. It's got a serrated back strap, wide checkered target hammer, and a smooth wide target trigger. It's got a red ramp stainless front sight as you can see. Uh, they started making these in about 1979 and basically all they did is they took the model 29 which is what's famous for being in the Dirty Harry movies those came in blue to nickel but they took it and basically made it in stainless and called it the 629 that's all this is is a stainless version of the Dirty Harry gun you can see it's also got these nice big target grips on it with the Smith & Wesson medallion and laid in them nice checkering there on the trigger or I mean on the grips and it does have an adjustable white outline rear sight very good sight picture on these fully adjustable for windage and elevation on the rear sight now this has got the old style cylinder release you'll notice it's different than some of the newer ones it's got it doesn't have the frame lock like some of the newer ones this one was made around 1985. Like I said, it's a Dash 1. Uh, the change for the Dash 1, they, had, they started out with just a regular 629, and then when they moved to the 629 Dash 1, what that Dash 1 means is that the barrel was no longer pinned, and the cylinders were no longer recessed. It's just a regular cylinder like you'd see on any other modern revolver. So we're going to take this thing outside, run a few rounds through it see how it shoots okay so we have the Smith & Wesson 629 we're gonna take a few shots with it Alright, so now we're going to take some double action shots. Well, as you can see, it shot pretty good. It's got an extremely, extremely light single action trigger. Unbelievably light and crisp. The double action is also extremely light. Now this is a good gun for anyone looking for a 44 Magnum. If you run across one of these for a decent price, which is hard to do these days, I would say definitely pick it up because it's just hard to beat one of these old pre-lock Smith & Wessons. See you next time.